Today we have two very important things to do. The first thing, we're gonna look at the best Evos in FC25 and who you should waste your time Evo in because it's not gonna be a waste. They're gonna be amazing for your starting 11. The second thing, there's a tradable 50K pack that you can unlock. I'm gonna show you exactly how to get that. And by the way, people in this community have been getting absolute superstars out of this pack. So I'm gonna unlock it for myself and hopefully hit a star as well. And if you missed the first episode of the RTG, speaking of the RTG, what's up YouTube? I'm your boy Skills. Welcome back to the Road for Champions RTG edition. If you missed the first episode, where I showed you me getting, you know, Rodrigo and Darwin Nunez and Garnacho, how I unlocked all these awesome players so quickly. It took me like an hour to do. Make sure to check it out because I show you the all easiest way to go through squad battles, unlock a bunch of objectives, get yourself absolutely in the right track to building an unbelievable account. Now today, Let's talk about Evos, because we got Garnacho right there, who's one of my favorite players in the Premier League. We have Darwin Nunez, who once upon a time played at Befica, and I love. And I also have Mateus Nunes, who's just an awesome Portuguese player that we could Evo. But are they the smartest Evos? Because I want to get one of the best Evos, but also someone that I feel connected to. So let's talk about the best Evos in FC25. One thing I noticed with Evos last year is sometimes I would do them, and because I didn't really care about the player, kind of was lacking and slacking and didn't play with them enough. So I wasted a whole Evo. Evo. So when you're looking at this list, you're gonna see a popular one that a lot of people are going with is Endrick. Endrick is one that you can start him with the introduction to star or something like that Evo. And then you have to do the ultimate one. So it's two different Evos to get him to an 80 overall. Now this is a great looking card with 89 pace. He looks very, very good, decent shooting. The only downfall is that he's a three star weak foot. You then have a really, really cool Delault card. This is a very good right back. Also could play left back uh, in the Premier League, which is a very, very popular, popular league. That is a great defender. I would say Diogo Delot and Joe Gomez are the best Evos for defenders. In my opinion, they look absolutely amazing. Juwon Felix and Correa are two guys that are from the, the past, man. Like we know about these cards. If you guys are, uh, played FC24, um, you probably Evoed Juwon Felix. Everyone was Evoing Juwon Felix because he has a four-star weak foot, a five-star skills. A lot of people really enjoy that, right? That's that's everything you kind of need in these games, but his pace is a little bit slacking. Um, Colo looks insane, by the way. A four-star, four-star with 90 pace and 84 shooting. Colo looks great. You get an 84 overall card with him marcus rashford one of the top ones as well coming in with the 89 pace three star week for five star skills but at least you get the skills and then you got lamin yamal which another one endrick and lamin yamal are very very hyped in real life everyone is talking about these guys because they're the young footballers coming up problem with lamin yamal lads you have to remember is that he's in form right now so it's gonna be really hard for you to get your hands on this gold one uh most likely gonna be extinct you also have inaki williams who's nico williams's uh, older brother i believe um crazy speed but once again only a three star week foot so there's many, many awesome cards. Garnacho can only be evolved once. I decided Endrick. Now, the reason I did Endrick, first of all, I want you to know that I spent like 4,000 coins on this guy because, or like 5,000 coins because he was extinct. Um, uh, when I'm recording this, um, you guys, it doesn't even say what I bought him for, but I bought him for 5K. Um, the, the the reason is because the game's not fully out yet and I just wanted to get my hands on him quickly and get this Evo cooking. I want to play my squad battles. So it's stupid for me to spend 5K on him, but at the same time, he's going to be with me forever. So I don't really care. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go with him. The reason for it is, is I have a Brazilian from Man City already. I got Rodrigo from Real Madrid and he's going to be, he's untradeable. If you watch the first episode, you saw how I got him. So he's going to be with us pretty much forever so i thought to myself okay why don't i go with the real madrid brazilian link really really nice um and go with them up top and let them to cook with that being said you have to play three matches in rush rivals squad battles um and, and to get that pretty much going just three quick matches and the second thing you have to do is win two matches of rush rivals or squad battles as well so a real nice way to do your evos is through rush it's a lot of fun you can play with your friends and that looks so awesome the problem is my boy garnacho is now on three chemistry so we do got to find a way to juice up that cam on my boy garnacho we got to get that up if we go with oh nana everyone is pretty much on full chemistry except for balde and my boy lorente um, if I go with Pope, we have three players off chem, but that works as well. So your boy is going to be trying to make a nice little upgrade at the goalkeeper position in this episode. Yeah. And the way we're going to do it, lads, is first attack the 50K pack because we have a 50K pack available. And let me show you exactly how I'm going to unlock that. And hopefully we get an absolute superstar for the goalkeeper position to get this team absolutely on point. Last episode, it was all about showing how to get insane packs. We're going to keep that same vibe going, baby. That's what the vibe's all about right now. How to get as many packs as possible so you can upgrade your account as quickly as possible. I have 
have finished the assist mastery. If you don't remember how I did it, let me quickly give it to you, bro. You go into the team of the week game because you can replay that. You put it on beginner and you keep entering that game and just scoring goals. Just pass it to your, to your teammate and score every single time. You're going to get so many awesome packs. You know what else I've been doing, lads? I went ahead and went back into the moments. And in moments, I made something amazing happen because I've been seeing so many people getting lucky in this pack. Let me show you. When you go to your rewards, if you collect 60 stars right now, 25 stars get you a draft. So my first 25, I got myself a free draft token. So that one's done, right? I got myself a tr free draft token. But instead of going for another free draft token, I'm going for a rare players pack. Um, because this is a tradable rare traders uh, players pack, all right? Tradable from what everybody is, from what I've been seeing. So, lads, we got to take this, man. We got to hit this. We got to take it. Let's see what we get out of it. Unfortunately, no walkout. It's going to be a center back, the Netherlands. We got a little bit unlucky, but it's, it's tradable. There could be something good in here. Let's just, let's just, let's just hold on, calm down. Let's relax and see what comes out of it. The first card's going to be an 83 rated. Was it worth 60 stars? I guess we're going to find out in a minute. Could we have something in there that could help us behind? Mm. Let me see. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Calm down. Zabata. Um, I'm not really seeing much that we can use. That's a bit unfortunate. But remember, lads, this is a sellable pack, which means if I discard every card right now, I'm going to get myself 60,000 6, coins, which is a lot of coins for a beginning RTG. So I might end up just discarding most of these low rated cards and the duplicate. This duplicate right here, I might list up to see if somebody will buy it. The rest, I'm going to go ahead and discard. And even these, I'm even thinking here about discarding these as well. How about how does this card look? Nice little four star skill or two star weak foot. So not really a great hit there. Not really a great hit at all in this pack, but I've seen a lot of people getting lucky in this pack. So 60 stars can get you a nice little tradable pack unfortunately that didn't really happen for us but that's okay look man i'm still cool with it we're gonna go up to eight thousand coins now which is really really cool now remember we do have still in a tr uh, now this one's untradable but it's from getting the assist so we go over to the store the store is gonna have a bunch of packs i'm not gonna make you guys watch all of them because some of them will be you know silver packs but what we are gonna do is get to the rare mega and to the to the, the times two rare so let's open up this one first it's not going to be a walkout, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and skip it. It's a cam, though. Remember, not every we don't only need walkouts right now, man. Da da Danny Almo from Barcelona. If he had more pace, that would be a very valuable card early on in the game. But unfortunately, he doesn't have pace, so probably won't be rocking out with him. We're going to go over to the rare mega real quick and rip this one. This is from getting a bunch of assists. Unfortunately, it's 250 assists. Unfortunately, it's not going to be a walkout again, but it is going to be Belgium left wing is that carrasco i think that's carrasco and i don't know what carrasco's overall is he used to be a stud in fc's 88 pace not a bad card man 88 pace with 81 shooting and eight dude 80 is across the board pretty much except for his physical so unfortunately lads again not really getting lucky there but got to take a look at other cars there's henry right here which is a left back that has good pace on him from the premier league we also got the homie ancelotti which is really nice we got a couple engines a couple hunters really good um, so listen, we definitely got we definitely got some stuff here. Now, unfortunately, this is going to be duplicates and not tradable. So I got to figure out something to do with this 82 and this 83. And I haven't even started messing around with SBCs yet. So I have no idea where to put these cards. I just had one of the most awkward experiences ever. I'm playing Rush to complete Rodrigo. This is my second game. Excuse me, Endrick. And my mic was on on my controller. So they all heard me doing my like vote, like me talking on the video. That's so that's so awkward, bro. Anyways, man, uh, we have played one game already with Endrick. I got myself like two goals and assists. Not that that matters. Rush is a really fun mode, man. I'm really enjoying this mode so far. I'm going to show you guys a game. My last game, I got two goals and assists, bro. I didn't show y'all. Now I'm like, this game, I'm not going to get any. And y'all are going to make fun of me. But it's okay. We're going to go into this and we're going to enjoy this. It's a real good time. As long as you get good teammates, it's a real fun experience. Let me show you. So I kind of usually just kind of stay. Oh, oh, oh Dion, go on, man. Score that, please. Let's go. Oh, we're winning. <laughs> I usually stay back, dude. I'm going to stay back on D. And then whenever, like, I got to go forward to do a little something, something, I will. But I'm more about the win, man. I'm more about getting the dub. I don't really care about getting stats. Good defense. Knock it up. Knock it up. Please. I got it. Oh, man. A big opportunity. I'm smashing this. Endrick, it's in there. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Yes. What a goal from Endrick, dude. I don't know if I can get there. I got there. I'm going to send it. What a ball from the back to the front. What a ball. Get my break. Oh, that's unlucky, dude. Yo, the vision was so clutch there, man. 
Uh, I, hold on. That could be bad. That could be really bad. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm back on D. I'm back on D. I got it. Good through ball. You got me. You got me with the one two, De Young. You got me with the one two. Look at this. Look at this football. Carolasso. Carol. <laughs> Yo, Rush is actually mad fun, dude. Nah, this mode is actually lit, bro. Yo, did you see that play I just created? That was so cool, man. That was a dope one, too. My teammate was clutch. I was clutch. We were clutch. Our team is cooking. We're looking like Barcelona in their prime. I got this covered. Look at his defense, bro. Enric even plays D, bro. Look at this guy, man. Unbelievable. Somebody help me, dude. Got it. You're on side. You're on side, dude. You're on side. You're fine. Look inside. Oh, another assist for Hendrik. <laughs> another assist for Hendrik. Let's go, Hendrik. Let's go. The Brazilian stud going crazy, bro. 4-2. We're cooking. Five minutes left. We're cooking. We're cooking. I'm being greedy. I'm being greedy. Let's go. I had to be greedy, bro. I was wide open. There's no way I'm not taking. Yo, Hendrik going crazy, bro. Endrick is actually going crazy. This guy got a little bit more. What do I got? Two goals and a sister? So I don't even know. This is wild, though. That's offside. That's offside. Let's go. I got back post. I got back post. I got back post. We're chilling. Oh, you got cooked. <laughs> yo, my man got, yo, my man got cooked. <laughs> Ain't no way you got cooked that bad, G. Nah, man. That's not good, man. Hey, it's all right. It happens. Look at this over the top. Nah. Nah. No, no, that's so unlucky, dude. And again, and again. Hendrik, que golazo. No, no, hold on, man. Did we make the right decision? <laughs> yeah, I think we did, dude. I think we made the right decision on Hendrik, bro. This boy don't miss. This boy is automatic. What a finish. This boy is actually automatic, man. What a cheat code. Give me that. What a tackle. That's clean. That's clean. That's clean. That's clean. Let's go. <laughs> Yo, what a tackle, dude. Yo, you got to be kidding me. Hey, a blue card. No, 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 Oh, come on. Yo, Hendrik was insane. You actually, how did I not get mad? I got 10.0. Most assists. Let's go. Top passer. Most assists. Hey, come on, Hendrik. Come on, Hendrik. Come on, Hendrik. Hendrik with the most assists, man, and the most pass on the field. Plus, you get 400 coins every time you play a game. That's pretty good, dude. That's not bad. I just made my second ever purchase on our RTG and it's Onana. I never thought I would buy Onana, but I bought Onana for 320K. Now remember his, uh, 3,000, excuse me, 3,200K. 3, 3,200, uh, 3, 3, there we go. Uh, I bought him and I brought him in to uh, get chemistry. You know what I'm saying? Um, his price is probably gonna drop a lot. Like I said, when I'm playing this right now, the game's not fully released in every country. So, you know, it's gonna it's gonna change a lot. Um, but I bought him and obviously we brought in Endrick. You guys know that already. I paid 5K for Endrick. This guy's probably gonna cost nothing very, very soon. But I gotta finish evolving Endrick. I finished his first stage. I gotta finish his second stage. I wanted to give y'all some rush, uh, rush gameplay. This is what the team now officially looks like. Everyone is on full chem except for Lorente and Balde. And what I wanna do, lads, is I went ahead and built my first ever draft, which you guys know I got a free draft token. I built my first ever draft. Now I'm yet to play this game online, so this is gonna be very, I mean, I've played Rush, but I haven't played 1v1, you know what I'm saying? So it's gonna be a very interesting game. I'm gonna hopefully win the first game of the draft. This is the draft I was able to build, pretty nice, a lot of hero cards. But now you gotta, all the talking, all the building, all that, all that comes to an end. Now it's time, me versus my opponent, to see who's better at FC25 and to see uh, uh, who's gonna get the best rewards from this draft. So let's go see what FC 25 gameplay's all like. This is my first, first time playing online. Let's go. I don't know if that's true. Look at Mbappe, first time playing against Mbappe this season. And look at him go, cut back shot, we're losing one nil. It's an easy goal for my opponent, like way, way too easy. We gotta do better than that for sure. Go on, go on Big Al. Big Al got that speed, Big Al shoots and we score. We tie the game up. I just had to run with them, bro. Straight line, don't pass it. Let's just tie this game up. And that's what we're gonna try to do for the first few games until I really learn how to play FC 25. We are gonna try to pace abuse. And that's exactly what my opponent did 
with his first goal with them with Mbappe. If you remember his goal, he kind of just spammed the through ball and kind of cooked us. But and Mbappe, he is so rapid. I thought the cut inside was gonna happen. Back post wide open. Paul Fu through uh, scores. Two one to my opponent. Not a good start to FC twenty five for us. Let's be honest. Send it. Send it again. It's a great find. Keeper gets moved, and we're going to shoot to the near post. Patience is key. Patience is key, bro. Play slow. Release the sprint button. Let's go, Cole. Come on, Cole. Let's go, Cole. Nice, Cole. Shoots. Cole misses, but we're there, and it's in. It's Pau Fu through the Portuguese man. Going to slide it in. Come on, man. Good goal. Good goal. Good goal. Good goal. Good goal. At halftime, I got to be honest with you. I don't want to say like I'm confused with the gameplay, but it is very different. I feel like it's very different. Um, I feel like a lot of over the top passes are working. Great find. Oh, it's going to fall back. Shot. Let's go. Oh, I got so lucky. We take rebound goals. We have to take rebound goals. Good goal for my boy Enzo. Nice finish off the first time shot, man. I had to just let it rip once it fell back to us. But, man, you need a little bit of luck when the game first comes out, don't you, man? I feel like I, I right now I feel like I need a lot of luck. Not really playing my best. Oh, uh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, big tackle. Not playing my best football, but be careful, be careful, be careful, be careful, be careful. Oh, my goodness, man. Please go out. <laughs> Trying to blow the ball out of bounds, bro. Keep it in, keep it in. Ah. That ball fell right to Mbappe. Oh, come on, man. The... It's kind of interesting because Asbeli Cueta, I'm pretty sure, has like no no pace. Good shot, good goal. Asbeli Cueta pretty much has no pace, and I'm trying to attack down Asbeli Cueta's side because he's a center back with a low, with low pace, and I don't really feel like I'm able to really take advantage of how little pace he has. Like I don't know, I feel like he's still catching up to my fast players, which is kind of weird. Now that might be because you know obviously a lot of things I need to learn about the game. Please. Nice. Good defense. Obviously, a lot of things I got to learn about the game. But so far, my first impression is like, look at that. Osbilly Quetta just clamped it so easily right there. And again, obviously, I wasn't running at full speed. But if I was, let me go over the top. It falls to Big Out. Big Out brings it down. Shoots on the volley. Let's go, man. 6-3. And that might be our first ever online victory. Our first game. Our first victory. Um... My first impression of, of the gameplay online is a lot of times the players do feel sluggish. Now, I don't know if that's because I'm using certain players. Like once you get to like the five star skillers, it's going to feel a little bit different that I can't answer the question because I haven't really used a lot of them, but it does feel bang that. Let's go. It does feel like left stick dribbling just doesn't really feel that fluid that like easily to turn and wiggle players and that's something that i really enjoy you know left stick dribbling is something i really really like but it doesn't really feel like it is going to be that important this year and again i'm just saying things i have no idea i'm literally my first game online so i don't want to sit here and act like i know exactly what the meta is and the gameplay is my first win 7-3 first official win of fc 20 uh 25 almost fc 23 fc 25 man first official win um, and I, I guess I could take a second to talk a little bit about the gameplay and what I noticed and what I feel. Um, playing the draft is a really good way to understand the game because now I know what I want to do for my team, what I want to build and what I don't want to build. W what does that mean? Like based off what I'm noticing, the dribbling and the, the way players feel sluggish, I, I don't really know. Like I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to build a little bit different than I would originally have built. Does that make sense? I, I don't know if, if I fully make sense there, but like, um, you know, in, in, in previous FCs, you know, someone like Messi, you could get him a left stick dribble and kind of just weave around. All these players just feel that the movement doesn't feel as smooth as it once did. So I think certain players, you start to look at it a little bit different, like bigger build players might be better so you can use their strength to bounce off. Now, I can't say that officially because I've only used players like Big Owl and stuff like that. I haven't really used a lot of like crazy dribblers. Um, but at the end of the day, right now, what I'm noticing is you know, if you're not going to be able to left stick dribble, maybe the bigger bodies go for crosses over the tops, trying to win headers, things like that might feel 
might be the way but again that's just a, 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 a initial like reaction to the gameplay i'm not saying that that's facts i'm not saying i know what i'm talking about i'm just saying that's kind of what i've noticed but i am going to play that draft out i'm going to finish it i just want to give you guys a little bit of rush gameplay and and online gameplay so y'all could see you know what i'm working with and, and what we're working with and what we're trying to achieve but this is the team so far it's obviously going to change completely this is not going to be my first team on the rtg i do love the team i do like the way the team looks but we definitely got to make huge huge changes um based on how we continue to understand the gameplay but hey i hope you guys enjoyed today's rtg if you did a big old thumbs will be much appreciated make sure to subscribe to your bell on i'm gonna go finish endrix evolve i'm gonna go finish the draft and hopefully win it and in the next episode hopefully have some sick rewards for you and hopefully have endrix done and also hopefully have my hero pack and stuff like that appreciate y'all watching i love you guys i will catch you in the next one peace we're out of here thanks for watching